Miles Anderson has worked on road crews across the country and stopped in at every martial arts training club he could, making the most of the brotherhood amongst fighters. You just walk in, you instantly start relating to each other, you know, like there's combos, training styles, like conditioning techniques, and it's like instant connection. So I don't know, it's like you got kind of family almost everywhere you go. He decided to move to Lloyd Minster and commit to training here because of the pedigree of MMA United. Well, from being at, training at various clubs for weeks and months here and there, you also hear, you know, murmurs of other clubs around the country and the Iron Circle is what this used to be called, now MMA United, and you heard just fantastic stuff about the boys from the Iron Circle. Anderson grew up training Taekwondo and later shifted to Muay Thai. Both disciplines focus on striking, something his trainers want him to utilize next weekend. He's new to our gym. Yeah, he's starting out. He's going to 0-0. He's going to fight a guy from Hayabusa who's 0-0 too. Miles did some Muay Thai, so we're going to let his hands go on Saturday night. Maybe keep the fight off the ground as much as he can and let him strike as much as he can. But Anderson recognizes he needs to be well-rounded to compete in MMA and is putting the time on the mat. I have been doing a lot of ground training, basically probably 80% ground training the past couple months. So. If it does go to the ground, I'm fairly confident that I can handle myself there as well. Making the call to put a fighter into the cage that first time depends on their level of training, but also on their heart and willingness to grind with the pro fighters at the club. He trains with a guy with Greg who's, you know, seven and one, or, and Kelly who's five and two, and he's hanging out with those guys, so, you know, he was, he was ready for his first fight. Well, Anderson wouldn't be human if he didn't have some nervousness about his upcoming debut. He's mostly just jacked for the opportunity. Every once in a while when I think about it, I kind of get a little bit of butterflies and stuff, but I don't know, I think the excitement and, and adrenaline and all that's going to take over and it'll just be one wild time. I'm very excited. <laughs> EFC 8 hits the Civic Center in Lloydminster on April 23rd. Jacob Zare, UCAP Sports.